but it's not a dream. It's reality. Magnolia. We are here in Italy. I can't believe I'm saying that right now. By the time you see this video, it's probably been already way past a month of me living here. A few months ago, I applied for a visa and did to my dream school. I received my acceptance letter exactly on my birthday and of course, I viewed it as a sign from the heavens. <laughs> The visa application, however, took its sweet time and was only approved a week after my target date of flight. But regardless of all the stressful occurrences happening, it finally hit me. Packing my bags and boarding a plane to live 10,000 kilometers away from home used to be a bucket list or a picture I would paste on a vision board to manifest my dream. But it's not a dream, it's reality. Quick background, I graduated from university 2017-2018, but I decided to pursue further studies. Here I'm taking up an international teacher training course, which I honestly could have taken somewhere else, like New York, London, Sydney, but me and my stubborn and Taurusness was too stubborn to do it anywhere else. It had to be here in Italy because I wanted to follow my grandmother's footsteps. I was born in a family of teachers, with my grandmother being my number one inspiration. This pursuit of knowledge is also a pursuit of self, because I'm also reconnecting with my roots. It is true that this chapter is all for professional development, but undeniably also for personal development. I hope to share all the reflections and life lessons I learned from this chapter with you. If you wish to move to another country one day, study abroad, or you simply just want to listen to my poetic romanticisms and reflections, then please do stay tuned for this series, and I hope it gives you much inspiration. Welcome to Venezia room tour. Hola. The place is so pretty. Over here we have a beautiful pastel floral gold lined wardrobe and matching furniture. It's so beautiful. Vanity mirror reminds me of my mirror a long time ago in my old bedroom, except it's pastel green. So pretty. Even the chair reminds me of my old yellow pastel chair even the refrigerator looks cute
Living and studying in Italy means working hard during the weekdays, pulling all nighters even, to ride gondolas on weekends. The first few weeks of my stay in Italy weren't so lonely because my mom accompanied me and helped me settle in. During the weekdays, I would pull all nighters just so that I could go sightseeing with my mom on the weekends. Our first weekend was dedicated to our favorite place in the world, Venice. Murano would be known for the glass blowing factories, while Burano is where the lace, colorful houses are at. Because, of course, while I'm still studying, I also want to immerse in the culture and the history. Kitchen! You may watch all the movies and documentaries set in this city of canals or the floating city if you like all you want, but a TV screen could never capture the magic of Venice. I finally understand why this is my mother's favorite place in the world. It was the combination of Venetian, Baroque, and Gothic architecture. The splashing of waves against boats. The creative yet cryptic carnival masks. The quaint and colorful houses of Burano. And the delicately beautiful glass museums of Murano. So much so that I wandered into a Murano glass shop and I met the owner and artist himself. I was fully convinced to get this beautifully ethereal, purple butterfly pendant and it's so whimsical, so magnolia pixie coated and I'm a big fan of finding whimsy in everything. But clearly Venice was just a weekend getaway. The real studying in Italy experience for me is here in Bergamo. This city is in the northern part of Italy, close to Venice but closer to Milan. Personally, I've heard a lot of stories about this city from my grandmother and it's more beautiful and charming than I expected. Welcome to Bergamo! Oh. So this is gonna be my view for the next 10 months. <laughs> Since it is an underrated city, there aren't that many tourists, especially compared to Florence, Venice, which makes it a very quiet and peaceful place. Nature is easily accessible with the amount of parks you can just walk to. There are also so many museums and you know how much I love art. This first museum I visited with a mom is Academia Carrara and I was really fascinated by this because it takes you through a journey of five centuries of Italian art. 
possibly nothing compared to Uffizi Gallery. But honestly, I say wherever and whenever you have a chance to visit a museum, I highly recommend it. You learn a lot about the history of the place, the evolution of mankind, and I just think that learning more about human beings is beautiful. Within just a few weeks of being in Italy, I've already exposed myself to so much art. And I'll talk about the rest of the museums I visited in future vlogs. By frequently exposing myself to art and all its massive beauty and elegance, I feel so small. But this time I don't feel insignificant at all. problems become so puny as I am just a little speck of dust in this universe. Art is a beautiful reminder of what humans are capable of, and honestly with how aggressive consumerism is in modern society, it's so easy to forget that humans are capable of so many great things. It is our human tendency to imagine, explore, because we are more than just our Netflix shows and doom scrolling. Really, it's a question and a matter of asking yourself how can I contribute? How can I leave a mark? It's not simply a question of what do you want to be when you grow up, when most children and adolescents don't even know what the concept of growing up is yet. But the thing is, you don't have to have it all figured out yet. Because development is not linear. And most of us are in the process of becoming. So read more about history, visit more museums, get a new hobby or try to hone a new skill. Getting out of your comfort zone doesn't only mean moving to another country or studying for that matter. It just so happened that that's where life took me. It's a big responsibility and I can't be more grateful. So in between all the requirements and classes I have to take, I'm trying my best to culture myself and learn about the world outside of books in hopes to bring that knowledge and wisdom back home. It's hard, it's a lot of work. Pangs of loneliness and homesickness visit me frequently like a friend. People may say I changed, but I can tell that's a good sign. Because I know this time I will love this version of me.